often hear about the problems we experience here in the South, lower rankings in terms of income or education, for instance. But if you need an organ transplant, you may get that life-changing operation a lot faster simply because you live here. Yeah, that's at least for now, Scott. All new at 6, why local doctors are concerned about a possible move that could make your wait time longer so patients elsewhere don't have to wait so much. You know, you came close to death and, and now you're alive, you know, so I go out and do things, little things, little things like going to a Mardi Gras parade. Susan Smith is living life to the fullest. Last year, she was diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver. The 58-year-old was so ill, she retired from teaching and was placed on a liver transplant list at the end of October. By December, she had a new liver and a second chance at life. And I'm very, very grateful and very thankful. While Smith received a liver in less than three months, you may be surprised to learn that your weight isn't determined solely by the need. It depends in part on your address. I almost feel guilty. <laughs> I know a lot of people wait. Smith might not have been as fortunate had she lived on the West Coast or in the Northeast part of the country. The wait time there is longer, sometimes measured not in months, but years. The reason? A disparity in population and in death rates are a part of the answer, but the biggest factor is this. There are simply more donors in the South, and livers stay in the region where they are donated. I think there are significant issues with variations or disparities in organ donation rates. United Network for Organ Sharing, or UNOS, the nonprofit that manages the nation's organ transplant system, believes it is time for a change. Under the current system, the country is divided into 11 regions, but a UNOS committee thinks the map should be redrawn, reducing the regions from 11 to 8, or even possibly down to 4. Centers in the West or Northeast could see a 40 to 50 percent increase in organ volume with a shift like this. But for patients in Louisiana, the wait times would likely increase. I think it's reasonable to assume, um, although I don't have any strong data to support this, that yes, wait times could potentially go up for. Uh, Louisiana residents waiting for a liver transplant. Dr. Geerga thinks changing the boundaries may even affect cost and the shelf life of a donated liver. What are the unintended consequences? Uh, is there going to be increased cost because uh, livers have to fly greater distances? The amount of time that a liver gets put on ice Will more livers um, get discarded? It is estimated transporting organs longer distances could cost hospitals $30 million more each year in total. A group of concerned doctors, including many from New Orleans, recently sent this letter to the Health Resource Service Administration asking for more research before any changes are made. But the doctors agree with UNOS that something needs to be done soon to address the unbalanced system. On average, about 1,500 people die each year while waiting for a liver transplant. There are 15,600 people on the waiting list right now. We fully support attempts to um, increase organ donation rate, to de decrease ge uh, geographical uh, disparities. We just think they need to be studied a little closer. Had Smith not received her liver in less than three months, she doesn't think she would have survived. She's very grateful to live in the South, but feels for people who have to wait longer. I didn't deserve a liver. I would hate to live in an area where I could not get a liver or a kidney. Geergra thinks maybe the committee should think of ways to encourage more people to donate organs. He says the goal is to save more lives everywhere. Well, a public forum was held in September, and today the UNOS committee presented the meeting notes to the board. There will be another public forum held in May next year, and it will be in Chicago. The committee hopes by the end of next year they will have a solid proposal ready to present to the board.